The current generation of Irish farmers have planted approximately 10,000 kilometres of new hedges, which is the most significant planting in almost 200 years. John Feehan will tell us about the history of Irish hedges. Before the 17th century, Catherine, uh, it was a very different kind of farming over most of Ireland and uh, th there was a very different kind of landscape to go along with that. Uh, it was much more open, unenclosed, uh, and animals had much greater freedom to roam. During the growing season, uh, wherever possible, they'd be taken up into higher ground away from where the arable land was and so on. Uh, but you, you, didn't have, you didn't have our uh, present pattern of permanent small hedges enclosing small fields in most of the farm, uh, farm landscape. You did have permanent fences in the landscape before the 17th century, but the permanent fences were substantial bank and ditch features and they tended to be mainly around property boundaries or territorial boundaries. Uh, so the, the most common surviving fence of that type would, would be the townland boundary in, in, in fact. This was the case basically until the arrival of the agricultural revolution uh, when the, the farm was divided or parceled out you might say into small enclosed fields because uh, there was much more control over breeding and the development of varieties etc etc. So you needed to enclose your crops, exclude animals and, and so on. Uh, most of the internal hedges and farms would, would, would very generally speaking now date between the, the beginning of the, the early 1700s down to the 1820s, basically down to the famine. Well, in, the, in the early years particularly, it was achieved largely in responses to several acts of parliament, uh, which compelled landowners to plant so many, uh, so many uh, yards of uh, hawthorn every, every year, or of other suitable uh, species. 